hassle free. It was awesome. That's why I keep going back. One glass breaks, call Murray's. Murray's will replace damaged insulated residential glass and a 10 year guarantee on seals from the manufacturer. Replacement units are made right here in the USA. Murray's, your trusted source for replacement glass for 75 years. Rivertown Grill in Williamstown is now open for lunch on Saturdays and Sundays. Enjoy your meal and the warm weather on our outdoor patio. We have all your lunch favorites, like sandwiches, salads, wings, burgers, and more. Be sure to follow us on Facebook for our weekly food specials. Join us soon for lunch on Saturday and Sunday at Rivertown Grill in Williamstown. Podcasts are certainly a big deal these days, and if you've been using an online meeting platform to record your episodes, here's a change-up you might like. WMOA Radio in Marietta is offering up studio rental time, and Warfare Media is along for the ride to handle all the edits. Along with your studio rental comes high-definition audio and video, with professional edits back to you in time to publish. Call WMOA to set up an appointment, 740-373-1490. Maybe you know us because of our big blue scissors at ribbon cuttings in the Mid-Ohio Valley, but we are so much more. The Chamber is a coalition of area businesses and organizations, large and small, for-profit and not-for-profit. We work tirelessly to provide programming to support our members, opportunities to network, training and education, exclusive member benefits. See, so much more than big scissors. Want to learn more about how your business can take advantage of these benefits and so much more with the Mid-Ohio Valley Chamber of Commerce? Give us a call or check out our website. Carl's Pawn Shops offers you the best deals every day. We have affordable prices on quality, name brand merchandise such as electronics, jewelry, musical instruments, tools, firearms, and much, much more. Our inventory changes daily. Stop by and see us at Emerson Avenue or Division Street, and be sure to check us out on the web at carlspawnshops.com. It's always fun to see what's new at Carl's. Carl's Pawn Shop. Big news. Mother Earth Foods is thrilled to introduce our brand new program, bringing you everyday low prices on our exclusive house brand, Cadia Natural and Organic Foods. We believe that healthy, wholesome food should be accessible to everyone, which is why we're committed to offering your favorite Cadia Natural and Organic Foods at great prices. So why wait? Head over to Mother Earth Foods today and start saving big on all your grocery essentials. Shop with confidence. Honest Fred's Flooring is your one-stop premier flooring destination. Whether residential or commercial, you can count on us for first-rate customer service and a vast selection of flooring options. You're invited to sit down with our flooring experts to discuss your project, and our warehouse is full of flooring ready for installation. Plus, take advantage of 0% financing. Schedule your free estimate today at HonestFreds.com or give us a call. The flooring you want, the service you need, and the value you deserve. Honest Fred's Flooring, Parkersburg, Marietta, and Spencer. Golden Nails in Vienna is the area's premier nail salon and spa. Family owned and operated, Ivy has over 25 years of experience in the Mid-Ohio Valley, creating beautiful hands. From manicures and pedicures to waxing, you can relax and pamper yourself at Golden Nails. Thousands of styles and colors are available so you can find the one that suits you best. Make an appointment or just walk in. Get more details online at goldennailsvienna.com. Stop by or call today. During these different hard times, all of us from Mark Armstrong School Works would just like to say thank you. Because of you, we haven't just survived, we have thrived. From our goldsmiths to sales staff and even my three puppies, we sincerely thank you. Our selection is constantly evolving. So come see for yourself why everyone is saying we are the only true full service jewelry store in the Mid-Ohio Valley. If other area jewelers have trusted me for over 40 years, 
shouldn't you? From the very first moments of life, WVU Medicine Camden Clark is here for you and your family. Providing award-winning health care to the Mid-Ohio Valley for over 125 years. Caring for our community is what we do best. From newborns to grandparents, we've been a part of your family for generations. Today, we're growing to meet the health care needs of all we serve with services and technology that enable you to be treated closer to where you live. We're expanding facilities and offering state-of-the-art services that improve your patient experience. Whether it's a visit to your primary care office or a hospital procedure. At the end of the day, we're caring for people we know, family, friends, folks we relate to, and providing you with the highest quality of patient care is our top priority. Your health, your choice. WVU Medicine, Camden Clark. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Belpre, Ohio, home of the Belpre Golden Eagles as they play host to the Marietta Tigers tonight in boys basketball action here on CAS 45. My name is Brian Guthrie. Right next to me is the lovely and talented Mike Cameron. And on paper, looks like we could have a good one here, Mike. Belpre coming in at 7-4, and four, Marietta at 9-1. and one. Marietta coming off their first loss of the season. But Belpre, unfortunately, is dealing with a rash of seasonal problems, <laughs> as it were. Illnesses galore right now for Belpre, and uh, I, you know what? I can understand. It's it's uh, it's a rough time of the year. And I know that a lot of people have been dealing with all sorts of uh, ailments, whether it's the uh, the flu bug or whatever. But yeah, right now it has hit hard on Belpre, and and, and a, a very inopportune time as they go up against a nine and one team in Marietta. Chris Copen, Malik Curry, and uh, Nazi Spencer all sent home with uh, flu-like symptoms. Uh, Chris Copen actually just went home right before the JV game. They were like, check his temperature one more time, and it's like, nope, you're out. Yeah, it, that's the thing. It was, it, I mean, I think when they game planned earlier today, these were not things that they were worried about. Now, a lot of this happened very, very recently. I know we saw a kid sitting on the bench right there, headache, and he just looked, he looked horrible. And you know what? He needed to go home. I totally understand. So let's take a timeout. When we come back, we'll get you ready for the ball game. Marietta and Belpre live here on CAS 45. Crazy Bone Pet Spa is thrilled to offer a new and improved outdoor play yard. Your pup will enjoy room to run and play on luxurious pet-friendly turf without the dirty paws to track home. Play hard without the mess at Crazy Bone Pet Spa, 19th and Garfield Avenue, Parkersburg. Have that good dog you've always wanted. Crazy Bone Pet Spa now offers obedience training by AKC-approved CGC evaluators. Class size is limited, so don't sit, don't stay. Call today to register. Crazy Bone Pet Spa, 19th and Garfield Avenue, Parkersburg. Jeremiah's Coffee House, now at 165 Front Street in downtown Marietta, is more than just the best coffee in town. We have a full menu of locally sourced homemade soups, sandwiches, and salads. Plus, all of our items are gluten-free or have gluten-free options, including our delicious desserts. Stop by the new location and spend some time outside on the patio. And, of course, we have the highest quality coffee around. Stop by and see us today or check us out online at jeremiahscoffeehouse.com. I was out doing this one day, then this happened. Not cool. So I went to Murray's, talked to Dennis, he rocks, like he literally rocks. They got me fixed up super fast, hassle-free, it was awesome. That's why I keep going back. When glass breaks, call Murray's. 
Murray's will replace damaged insulated residential glass and a 10-year guarantee on seals from the manufacturer. Replacement units are made right here in the USA. Murray's, your trusted source for replacement glass for 75 years. Getting ready to uh, get the starting lineups here. Joe Garrett Court here at Belpre High School. As you take a look at, well, we did look at it. It was there a second ago. Um, there it is. There it is. So Marietta at 9-1 and one coming off uh, their first loss of the season to the Little Muskies of John Glenn, 52-38. Before that, they had rolled through everybody uh, thus far. Belpre, on the other hand, hit a little two-game slide. These are just the last four games and then the next couple of games for these teams. Uh, a little two-game slide before they righted the ship against Trimble. And uh, they're actually, I believe, in first place in their division of the conference. So Belpre is having a really good year, Mike. They're, they are. Um, you know, I think I did not, I have not seen them up to this point this year, but we did a game last year, and they took on a very tough PHS squad. Yeah, Belpre played at the PHS, end. yeah. And now a lot of those same kids on that team are still on this team right now. And I, I was expecting... Uh, you know, a, a really good showing. Otherwise, you know, and you never know. You just these kids might step up for the ones that are not in today because of the sickness and everything. But uh, yeah, this is a good team. Um, just got to get everybody on the on the uh, more portion, better portion of health right now. But these guys are uh, are struggling right now with the sickness. Would you say they're down with the sickness? They're down with the sickness. I would say that. You probably wouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, we see the uh, the Belpre starters coming out. Uh, junior Bass, he's a junior. I wanted to point him out. Last year, saw him a couple times. Uh, really, I'm, I'm on the Junior Bass bandwagon. This, kid's, this kid is going to be good. Uh, I really want, I'm really eager to see how his game has developed. Nose for the basketball, aggressive, strong, and uh, those are all really good attributes that help you uh, in your rebounding. And if you can get... You get a couple extra opportunities off the offensive boards, then you know you get it. That, by right, you should be able to get some more points that way. He is an excellent rebounder. Let's see what he can do. Well, a little shorthanded tonight. The straw that stirs the drink for the Marietta Tigers is number 21, Alex Kendall, listed as a 6'8 senior. He is already committed to Division II, the University of Finley, in Northern Ohio. And that's who is going to jump is Kendall and Junior Bass. I hope you like black and orange because we got a lot of it tonight. We got a lot of it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot get away from it. Marietta will start with the basketball. Moving around out top, this is Seth Britton, number two. Drops it off to Zayden Wittenkind. He will pull up from the free throw line and hits that bucket to get things underway here. We'll see a press from the Tigers right out of the gate. Eagles trying to get it into the front court. And they will lose the handle on it. Kendall oh. fires a pass into the corner, goes out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover. Joe Garrett Court here is uh, unique in the fact that there's not a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> out of bounds is yeah. very, very precious. If you're going to dive, you're going to go face first into some cinder blocks. Belpre quickly the other way. Bass goes up with it, and he is going to collect the foul. I believe that's going to go on Elijah Lyris Kelly, number one for Marietta. So his first, team's first, and we'll see Junior Bass, a Belpre junior, at the line to shoot two. Listed at 6-3 is Junior Bass. But they ran the, they ran the floor very well, and they did not put, uh, uh, there wasn't even a, uh, a dribble on that one. It was good, clean passes. They were able to to, uh, to move down the court very easily. Oh, that's tough. And Bass missed them both, but right. the Eagles keep it. Out top is Blake Church, number 20 run, runs the offense for this team. And then number five, Derek Liston, is one of their big players. They're going to have to lean on him a lot tonight. Church, nice spin move in the lane, but shorts it. Lyris Kelly will collect it for Marietta. He'll slow things up. Straight man-on-man -man defense right now. This is Wittenkind, and he will step on the end line, and it'll be another Marietta turnover. It's a little deceiving. Again, you think there's, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just playing with their head a little bit, but uh, there's not much space there, but he thought he might have had a little bit more, obviously, on that 
uh, last drive. Lob into Church. Church will have a two, three on two. Drops it off for Bass, whether he meant to or not. Bass can't get it to go. He's going to fight with Kendall for the rebound and out of bounds. Stays with Belbury. Couple of tough, tough looks right now. The, uh, Marietta is playing good defense, and making uh, making the shot selection a little rough at the moment. Marietta's got their two uh, their two towers out there. Twenty one, Alex Kendall, and twenty Isaac Knighton, listed at uh, six eight and six five respectively. Witten can the Witten kind the other way misses the layup. Liston with the rebound, trying to get it out of the backcourt. Church fires ahead to Hayden Tabler. Underneath to Chase Mays, and Belpre is on the board with six minutes to go here in the first. They're having to look to a couple of players that normally get more JV minutes than anything, but with the guys out with uh, with what they're dealing with with the sickness right now, uh, they're going to have to get everybody to step up tonight. Here's Knighton, and he will get the floater in the lane. Liston quickly the other way, tries to put the brakes on. We'll pull it up. I was going to say he's waiting for reinforcements, but he's working that baseline awful hard. Out to Tabler. Now Mays. Back to Liston. Defense stand close, not giving much separation at all. Church spins at the free throw nice. line underneath the Bass, who re puts her in reverse and gets on the board and knocks us up at four. That was a great job of uh, getting that penetration and a good bounce pass. But again, the window shut quickly. Marietta's playing good defense, so Bass had to be a little special on that one. Knighton fires cross court to Lyris Kelly into the corner to Wittenkind. He shorts it, rebound Liston. Church will put it up the floor. Under five minutes to go here in the opening frame. We're tied at four. Church tried to get it to Bass, missed him, out of bounds. Marietta ball. We'll see our first round of substitutions, which is where Marietta is going to have the distinct advantage of just a longer bench. Well, and I think Church was wanting um, Bass to drive the lane there. I think he stopped, but the pass was went out of bounds. I think he was expecting to move towards the basket, just didn't get that, didn't, didn't have that communication. Three, Braden Jones, five, Trey Hawkins, both checking in, as well as 14, Owen Riley for the Marietta Tigers. Belpre coaches wanted to charge as Hawkins. I think it was an got interesting the no call. It should have been one or the other. One or the other, but no, yeah, just nothing. Here's Bass. He's going to drop it off to Mays, who lays it up and in. Bass wisely doesn't charge at Kendall, who's got the height advantage. All the way end to end, and off the backboard is Britton. And now Mays will slow it up with Liston. Just a little bit of resistance, just the one sticking around, providing the press. Here's Junior Bass working against Alex Kendall. Drop pass underneath is knocked away, and Kendall will run the floor and a whistle right here in front of the bench. And, and it's going to go on Blake Church, his first, team's first. And very unnecessary, too. I mean, I know it might, it might be a little frustration because he was the one that got stripped there, but you got to you got to have a little bit more discipline, especially with the limited bench right now. You know, we're going to need more minutes out of Blake Church tonight. Number five, Trey Hawkins. Checked out top by Tabler. Now this is 14, Riley on the baseline. Out to Knighton. Jones into Knighton, plows into Bass, no call either way, and he lays it up and in. Again, interesting that they're keeping the yeah. whistles out of the mouth tonight. Yeah, well, I would have thought one or the other, but we get neither. And Knighton has four points. Pass down on the other end, knocked out of bounds by the Tigers. We'll stay with Belpre. And I don't mind this, but I'd like to see four quarters of it. I don't. I don't want them to turn on their. You know. Oh, you know what? Let's start. Be, let's start watching that a little bit more in the second or the third quarter. Uh, just be consistent. If you're gonna let them play, let them play throughout the whole game. Inbound in front of the Tiger bench. Eagles trying to work it around and lost the basketball. Here's Lyris Kelly. Into the lane, into the corner for Riley. 
He wanted that three, didn't catch it cleanly though. Laris Kelly will pull the trigger on a three, won't get it, loose basketball, and Mays will collect it for Belpre, trapped on the baseline, off the end line, and Belpre basketball. Yeah, he, he saw a uh, triple team, so the, sometimes that's the only thing you can do is see if you can bat it off somebody else and get that out of bounds call. Tiger press. Tabler gets it in, but has it picked off. Elijah Lyris Kelly off glass, no good, but fouled. I tell you right now, Marietta knows what flavor gum that Belfry's chewing right now. They are staying so close right now. You no separation whatsoever. It's tough to get clean passes. Get, get clean passes that way. Hayden Tabler will pick up his first team second. Put Lyris Kelly on the line to shoot two and shorts the first one. First free throws of the night for Marietta, and now 0 for 1 from the stripe. Under three minutes to go here in the opening quarter. And these two teams going at it pretty tough here. Now the biggest lead of the game at three for Marietta. Almost picked from behind by Riley, but knocked into the Marietta portion of the crowd here. They're defending everything. They're reaching for everything. They're trying to bat everything away. I mean, it's Belfry just cannot get that separation that they want. Liston gets it into church. Lyris Kelly challenges him. Now Liston. Boy, the Tigers are just all up in their business, aren't they? Yes. And a force to turnover is Riley. Hits a cutting Knighton, but knocked out of bounds. Stays with the Tigers. Good defense there from Chase Mays, the Belfry Jr. to knock it away, prevent the easy basket. They are, again, they are everywhere. They're uh, they're stepping in every passing lane. They're uh, uh, playing just shut down defense right now. And Belfry doing well with the six points that they have on the board right now. Here's Knighton for three. And he drips, drills that one. Seven points for Isaac Knighton. And the lead's out to six and a whistle as Church comes across the timeline, and it's going to go on Owen Riley, his first team second. It's, uh, in, 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 again, we've been seeing them, really the officials just letting them play like that, but it, yeah, with this shutdown defense the way it is, there's a lot of contact, and the referees have, have had that opportunity to call it. They've just chosen not to until that last play. Here's Liston, tries to curl into the lane, drops it for Bass. Bass backing in against Knighton. Knighton got a piece of that one. Bass goes up again and gets that one in the foul. Brute strength. Brute strength got his own offensive rebound and just powered it back up. Isaac Knighton will pick up his first foul, team's third, and Bass has a chance to complete the three-point play. 0 for 2 from the stripe is Junior. Hits that one. Five points in the quarter for Junior Bass as we're under two minutes to go and a three-point Marietta lead. Hawkins out of bounds and Belfry basketball. Belfry flipped the script on that one. Good defense there, uh, good defensive switch and uh, caused them to make a bad pass. Out of bounds, turnover. Let's see if they can get some points off of that now. And they're in that little coffin corner over there. I can't even see it. I'm watching <laughs> it on the screen. <laughs> So substitutions for Marietta. We'll see Alex Kendall check back in, as well as Zane Whittakin. Two starters back in. <laughs> Ball tipped up, but collected by Blake Church. Church, floater in the lane is good. And Church has his first bucket of the game, and the lead is down to one with just over 90 seconds left in the year in the opening quarter. An aggressive move, and he used that, that pump fake uh, to uh, get the defense away from him. Dunk! <laughs> There's Alex Kendall hammering it home for the Tigers. But quickly, back the other way, it's Mays over into the corner to Church. Was looking for Bass, but Bass did not come open. Tabler out top. He'll go into Bass at the elbow. Tries the spin Rooney, has to force it up. Mays had it, knocked away from behind, and pushed the other way by Lyris Kelly. He will float it in. First field goal tonight for Elijah Lears Kelly. He has three points, a minute to go. Lead out to five for Marietta. Tigers continue to press. Here's Bass, lost the handle in the lane. Loose basketball. Church for three. Short. 
Loose basketball, out of bounds, stays with the Eagles. All right. Persistence right there. Mike, do you enjoy chaos? This is, uh, <laughs> this is utter chaos right now. Oh, missed his cutter to the inbounder, but collected by Chase Mays. Another turnover from the Golden Eagles. Kendall into the corner to Jones for three off the mark, collected by Knighton. And he will put it up and in and gets the whistle to go to the line. Foul goes on Chase Mays, his first, team's third. He's a tall, skinny kid, and his arms are super long, too. So he has he has automatic advantage over just about anybody on the floor right now, even really Kendall. Kendall's got some meat to him. Yeah, he's a, he's a thicker kid. 20 seconds left on the clock. Liston to Bass. Around to Tabler. Eagles continue to keep moving the basketball. Knocked into the Marietta bench. 10 seconds left. Stays with the Eagles. Checking in is Willis Starcher. As Junior Bass will check out for the Belfry Golden Eagles with 10 seconds. Starcher is the quarterback for the football team. So he's a, he's a good athlete, strong kid. Church has it as we're under 10 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Marietta has led the whole way. Belfry's kept it close. Floater from Church will go. He's got four, and that's how the quarter ends. 18-13. It's been a dogfight thus far. We'll check on the second quarter after this timeout. You're watching high school basketball on CAS 45. DePaulo's Pizzeria, located at 1403 Grand Central Avenue in Vienna, welcomes you to try their all-you-can-eat buffet. Join us Monday through Friday, 11 to 2, as well as Sundays, 11 to 2 and 5 to 8. Enjoy our salad bar, pizza, pasta, subs, cheesy bread, calzones, pepperoni rolls, and desserts. We are proud to be a local, family-owned business and look forward to serving your family at DePaulo's. Every day people ask me, is now a good time to retire? Any day is a good day to retire if you have a plan, but you have to have a plan. For a lot of people, retiring is one of the scariest things they'll ever do. Stop in, that was it takes from the scariness away. During these different hard times, all of us from Mark Armstrong's Woolworths would just like to say thank you. Because of you, we haven't just survived, we have thrived. From our goldsmiths to sales staff and even my three puppies, we sincerely thank you. Our selection is constantly evolving, so come see for yourself why everyone is saying we are the only true full-service jewelry store in the Mid-Ohio Valley. If other area jewelers have trusted me for over 40 years, shouldn't you? A quick turnover from the Golden Eagles to start the second quarter, 18-13 Marietta. In front here as we start the second quarter, Brian Guthrie, Mike Cameron, and the CAS 45 crew, happy to have you along for the ride. Here's Isaac Knighton around to Elijah Liris Kelly, trying to get it into Alex Kendall, but it's not there. Wittenkin for three, hits it. He's got five and pushes the lead out to eight. Both teams hitting their shots, eight of 13 shooting in the first quarter for Marietta, so obviously a very good shooting percentage there. Belpre, 50%, six of 12. A lot of turnovers. A lot of turnovers. Marietta's getting a lot of extra possessions. Here's Derek Liston. That is his first bucket of the game. Here's Knighton underneath. Lays it up and in. 11 points for Isaac Knighton. Yeah, the only shot that he's missed today has been from the free throw line. He's perfect from the field. And now he's going to be out <laughs> challenging the ball. They got both of the big guys out challenging the basketball out top. As Belfry is getting into that corner where they've been trapped a few times. Off glass, no good as Tabler. And Marietta will push it quickly back the other way. Lyris Kelly, and that's going to be a charge. That'll be his second foul. First charge we've seen called tonight. Mike. And we've had a couple that could have gone either way and ended up being no call. So they uh, they have decided, all right, now we're going to start calling that contact a little bit closer. That one went against Lyris Kelly. Starcher will come out for Belfry, and Junior Bass will check back in. 
Tabler to inbound. And Marietta has pressed the whole way. Belfry has done a decent job dealing with it. Here's Liston. Gets it over to Tabler. Just about picked his dribble up, but his pass will be picked by Seth Britton for Marietta. And Britton will bring it back the other way. Wittenkin goes baseline, misses the dunk. Knighton with the rebound, and he is put back as good, and he's going to be fouled. A good aggressive move by Wittenkin. Um, he did not get the dunk to fall, but you got, you got two guys, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, cleaning up the offensive boards right there. And that was a good aggressive play by him, by by, uh, by Knighton just to get that in. Yeah. Foul goes on Chase Mays, his first. Or excuse me, that went on De Derek Liston. It was his first. Knighton hits the freebie. He's got 14. 14 of the 26. Here's Church into the front court. He will go cross court to Liston. And Liston has it knocked away, out of bounds, stays with Belfry. Trey Hawkins challenging the basketball. Nope, it will stay with Belfry. Did you say it was? Yes. Okay, all right. That's all right, I don't listen to me either. <laughs> <laughs> Inbound to Liston in the corner. Looking for somewhere to go. Gets it to Bass on the baseline. He will be blocked by Kendall. That might not be the first time we say that tonight or the, the, the last time, I should say. Out top is Tabler to Liston. Tries to hand it to Mays and picked his dribble up, and instead will have to go over to Church. Works it back around to Tabler out top. Now here's Liston on the other wing. Mays out top has it slapped away by Wittenkin, and we're going to have a foul called. Whittakind will pick up his first, team second. And he was not in agreement with that, but that was just a slap right there, trying to get the ball away. Um, but right there in the full view of the referee. Braden Jones will check in for Seth Britton for Marietta. Five and a half to go until the half. Belpre, again, dealing with three players, not even in the building, dealing with flu-like symptoms. Bass underneath fires it to Mays, but knocked away. Whittakin the other way will lay it up and in. That kid has got a burst of speed. He was he yeah. was moving fast. He's got seven. Bass the other way will go off glass and good. He's got seven. And timeout, Belpre. Head coach Ryan Laser wants a full timeout at five and change. Here in the second quarter, 28-17. Thanks for having us tuned in. They um, they really widened this margin kind of quietly because Belfry had been hanging with them pretty well. Uh, it, so to look up there and say, dang, 11 points, where did that come it's from? It's like every other possession or every third possession, Marietta is getting an extra chance with the basketball. They're they're creating a uh, you know some sort of turnover. And, you know, one... Us getting four for every two you get, right. it just kind of it, it snowballs a little bit on you. Well, but, yeah, I agree. You know, Valpari is undermanned, uh, undersized, undermanned, and they are hanging into this game. But you're right. I mean, one of the stats that we're not keeping are turnovers, and I guarantee that, that they have uh, – Valpari has racked them up because this defense that uh, Marietta is presenting tonight, I don't, you know, even if they had – Belfry had their three guys left, it would still be a very impressive defensive showing out there. These guys are in passing lanes. They are actively uh, – they're, they're, they're defending everything. And it's be, and you got to think about also the athletic talent that that has to be because they – you're right, they've pressed the whole game. We've been – we're halfway through the third and second quarter. They've been pressing the whole time. Yeah. Made shots. <laughs> so they are definitely fit. Tigers moving it around, just about turn it over, and they will turn it over. Toes hit the end line. That line must be an optical illusion for those guys out so there. They've had about three or four of th them. This there. court looks, you know, is this regulation size court or what? <laughs> but it looks so small in this building with the with the tight sidelines and end lines. Huh? It is a little short. Learn well. something every day. <laughs> 
Here's Church for three. Back of the iron, no good. Liston collects it. Fires underneath to Mays, who is wide open for the lay in. And Chase Mays has six points. Lead back into single digits. Out top to Hawkins. He will back it out. Looking for a screen from Kendall. Kendall will fire the three off the mark. Whittakind with the rebound, tries to get it back out, but Liston will take it the other way, one-on-one -on -one with Kendall, and Liston gets the basket. He's Good. got four. Good, aggressive move, but he still had to just kind of put a little bit of, <laughs> very bit of careful. On him. Yes. <laughs> Here's Jones for three. That's off the mark. Rebounded by Tabler. And now Marietta has gone cold offensively. Church, long jumper. Off the mark, Bass with the rebound, goes back up with it, puts his own rebound in, and it goes in. Junior Bass has nine, the lead's at five, and timeout, Marietta. Good stretch. There, and again, it's just a, hanging with them right now. It, it's not been a, a helpful thing for Marietta. You're right, they have gone a little bit more now to the perimeter. Even the bigger guys are shooting threes, and they're missing them. Belfry's causing them to, uh, you know, to, to pay for those shot selections. Head coach Austin Gardner has seen enough. We'll burn his first time out as we hear the pride of Belfry pep band version, directed by Mr. Van Pelt, who does a fantastic oh, job. Oh, they oh, they, they oh, fill a trophy case. Award-winning band. band. Yeah. 3:40 left on the clock. A five-point lead at one point. Had it out to. I lost track of what the biggest lead was. <laughs> it was at least 11. It was 11. I, at one point, it was 11. 28, I think it was 28-17, so it's a bit, at least a 6-0 run All right, right now. Right. A little bit of confidence, and you know, again, they're, they're getting some contribution from, from some guys that don't normally get a lot of minutes, that, but they're, they have been called into duty this evening. Yeah. For next man up. Is, next man up. <laughs> Get out there and do your job, and, and, and they are. Isaac Knighton to Alex Kendall to Elijah Lyris Kelly. Very talented upperclassman here on this Marietta squad. Nice Here's drive. Here's Britton. will drop it off to Isaac Knighton, who lays it up and in. He's got 16. Quickly the other way is Tabler. High off glass won't go. Rebounded by Kendall. He'll push it ahead to Riley, and he will lay it up and in. And now Marietta is running and putting baskets up. Bass by himself on the other end. He will lay it in. Beating the press and getting somebody down the floor. Marietta will slow it down a little bit. Well, Britton now going to drive the lane, and he's going to be blocked with a foul call. Is that going to go on Church? Nope, going to go on Chase Mays. That'll be his second. Coach Lazier arguing his point, but to little avail. So Seth Britton. I have not seen an official say, oh, you know what, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Do over. <laughs> Britton misses the first one. And we'll roll the second one home. His first point of... The night, Tiger Press back in. Bass gets it into Liston, over to Tabler. Oh. Firing for Church, and he will track it down. Almost got away from him. Church will go baseline. Runner won't go. Rebound, Knighton. Tried to get Kendall, knocked away from him. Loose basketball still on the floor. Britton will have it. Over to Kendall. Dunk won't go. Lyris Kelly. Finally lays it up and in. We've seen two missed dunks, one good dunk so far. That was a, there was a lot of congestion there, and I think even Kendall, when he landed, he was like, what's up with that, you know? But he just was not able to, to complete it. But, well, there was a lot of bodies in the area. Yeah. Leads back out to 10, official timeout. We've got a moist baseline again, Mike. <laughs> Break out the professionals. Yeah. <laughs> and Chase Mays to the rescue <laughs> with the sweat mop. <laughs> Some dampness. I was going to say, you had to go back and make a second application. The quicker picker-upper. <laughs> Press back on from the Tigers. Their lead back out to 10. 
Church fires to Tabler. He'll get it across the timeline to Liston. Liston will go baseline, going to be trapped. It's a trap! And a 30-second timeout called by Coach Lazier. You double team like that, again, the, the mathematics are simple. There's somebody that's wide open, but when you shut down and well, close off those, there's nobody to throw to, even though there's somebody open. Well, when it's Knighton and Kendall, two, the 6'8", 6'5". they block the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just feels like you're, you're being swallowed whole. And as we mentioned before, these corners here are so tight against the wall that you know, you like, yeah, you, <laughs> you get start, very claustrophobic. You start building <laughs> that closing in feeling, no doubt. And he's got, and I'll say this too. I mean, this is the first time I've seen these guys this year too. For a couple of big men, they're they're athletic too. I mean, they they're are. not. They're. I mean, we we've, we've already talked about their attributes. About one's kind of skinny, one's lean, one's kind of meaty. But nonetheless, they they move well. They defend well. Uh, for yes. Bi for big very men good players. Too. Very good players. And it's, not, it's not just shot blocking either. I mean, yeah. it's it's defense. It's true defense. Well, they came out and played out between the circles there they're on uh, part of the press there earlier in this half. Here's Liston trying to make some space. Little shove off, gets room to get the bucket. He's got six. <laughs> that is a very good way to try <laughs> to do that. <laughs> That's what it was. If you, if you can get away with that, then keep doing that, right? <laughs> Here's Kendall out top to Whitakin. Whitakin drives in against Church. And a travel. Oh, thought they called the foul. And the obligatory, you can't do that from the student <laughs> section. And press pulled off with 100 seconds left in the half. I was going to say, this is probably the first defensive uh, setup right now where they have not pressed. Bass out top. Working against Kendall. Drops to Liston for three. Oh. Swoosh! Derek Liston has come on hot here in this second quarter. He's got nine all in the quarter in the lead down to five. He's four of four from the field, too. Hasn't missed. Here's Riley into the corner to Jones. And, excuse me, that's Britton. And that is going to be foul number three on Chase Mays. Elijah Lyris Kelly checks back in for Owen Riley, and Chase Mays will check out. And we'll see Willis Starcher check back in for Belfry. <laughs> Significantly, and a charge called on Alex or Isaac Knighton. His second foul. That was a little bit. I mean, it's it's all in your it's all in your interpretation, but. He was going up to shoot, but the elbow did come in and make contact with him. Now, was that separation? Was that shooting stance? I don't know, but unfortunately for Knighton, he got called for the foul. That was pass from <laughs> Starcher, sails into the bench, and a turnover. Starcher matching up on the offensive end on Alex Kendall, who is almost a foot taller. Yeah, that's a tough defensive assignment, but again, he's a he's a stout kid. Oh, went up strong again. Kendall will go up and lay it in. Bass tried to challenge him and couldn't make it stick. Here's List in the other way. 30 seconds left in the half. Church shake and bake into the lane. And a foul on the floor. As he got some contact from Seth Britton, it'll be his first foul, team foul number four. Fell pretty inbound underneath their own basket. Into Liston in the corner. Kendall will come out and challenge him. Ball knocked away and Whittakind has it. These guys are just too quick. Whittakind off glass, good and a foul. Whittakind is very um, creative in the air. And he's got that athletic ability. I don't know if he even knows what he's doing when he's up in the air until about <laughs> Maybe on his way back down, but uh, that was a great uh, defensive play on the other end, making the steal coast to coast, and a uh, bit of a finger roll there. Yeah. Owen Riley and Trey Hawkins back in for the Tigers here for the last 16 seconds or so. Whittakin trying to complete the three-point play. 
and he does not. The putback goes to Kendall. That is just pure athleticism right there. He, he went in there quicker than anybody else, got the offensive rebound and the putback. Liston to Bass, 2-1, and the clock's going to run out. Nobody's going to get a shot off. And at the end of the first half, it is Marietta 41, Belpre 30. We'll take a timeout. We'll do some math and uh, get you ready for the second half after this timeout. 41-30, your score at the half. You're watching High School Basketball on CAS 45. Rivertown Grill in Williamstown is now open for lunch on Saturdays and Sundays. Enjoy your meal and the warm weather on our outdoor patio. We have all your lunch favorites, like sandwiches, salads, wings, burgers, and more. Be sure to follow us on Facebook for our weekly food specials. Join us soon for lunch on Saturday and Sunday at Rivertown Grill in Williamstown. Podcasts are certainly a big deal these days, and if you've been using an online meeting platform to record your episodes, here's a change-up you might like. WMOA Radio in Marietta is offering up studio rental time, and Warfare Media is along for the ride to handle all the edits. Along with your studio rental comes high-definition audio and video, with professional edits back to you in time to publish. Call WMOA to set up an appointment, 740-373-1490. Maybe you know us because of our big blue scissors at ribbon cuttings in the Mid-Ohio Valley, but we are so much more. The Chamber is a coalition of area businesses and organizations, large and small, for-profit and not-for-profit. We work tirelessly to provide programming to support our members, opportunities to network, training and education, exclusive member benefits. See, so much more than big scissors. Want to learn more about how your business can take advantage of these benefits and so much more with the Mid-Ohio Valley Chamber of Commerce? Give us a call or check out our website. Carl's Pawn Shops offers you the best deals every day. We have affordable prices on quality, name brand merchandise such as electronics, jewelry, musical instruments, tools, firearms, and much, much more. Our inventory changes daily. Stop by and see us at Emerson Avenue or Division Street and be sure to check us out on the web at carlspawnshops.com. It's always fun to see what's new at Carl's. Carl's Pawn Shop. Big news. Mother Earth Foods is thrilled to introduce our brand new program, bringing you everyday low prices on our exclusive house brand, Cadia Natural and Organic Foods. We believe that healthy, wholesome food should be accessible to everyone, which is why we're committed to offering your favorite Cadia Natural and Organic Foods at great prices. So why wait? Head over to Mother Earth Foods today and start saving big on all your grocery essentials. Shop with confidence. Honest Fred's Flooring is your one-stop premier flooring destination. Whether residential or commercial, you can count on us for first-rate customer service and a vast selection of flooring options. You're invited to sit down with our flooring experts to discuss your project, and our warehouse is full of flooring ready for installation. Plus, take advantage of 0% financing. Schedule your free estimate today at honestfreds.com or give us a call. The flooring you want, the service you need, and the value you deserve. Honest Fred's Flooring, Parkersburg, Marietta, and Spencer. Golden Nails in Vienna is the area's premier nail salon and spa. Family owned and operated, Ivy has over 25 years of experience in the mid-Ohio Valley, creating beautiful hands. From manicures and pedicures to waxing, you can relax and pamper yourself at Golden Nails. Thousands of styles and colors are available so you can find the one that suits you best. Make an appointment or just walk in. Get more details online at goldennailsvienna.com. Stop by or call today. During these different hard times, all of us from Mark Armstrong's Woolworths would just like to say thank you. 
Because of you, we haven't just survived, we have thrived. From our goldsmiths to sales staff and even my three puppies, we sincerely thank you. Our selection is constantly evolving, so come see for yourself why everyone is saying we are the only true full-service jewelry store in the mid Ohio Valley. If other area jewelers have trusted me for over 40 years, shouldn't you? From the very first moments of life, WVU Medicine Camden Clark is here for you and your family. Providing award-winning health care to the Mid-Ohio Valley for over 125 years. Caring for our community is what we do best. From newborns to grandparents, we've been a part of your family for generations. Today, we're growing to meet the health care needs of all we serve with services and technology that enable you to be treated closer to where you live. We're expanding facilities and offering state-of-the-art services that improve your patient experience. Whether it's a visit to your primary care office or a hospital procedure. At the end of the day, we're caring for people we know, family, friends, folks we relate to, and providing you with the highest quality of patient care is our top priority. Your health, your choice. WVU Medicine, Camden Clark. Back here in Belpre, 41-30 at the half. Brian Guthrie, Mike Cameron here. A, uh, a scrappy Belpre squad as we, you know, it, it, it's worth mentioning again, they've had three major players, two starters and the, the probably the seventh man uh, off the bench all out before the game even started. Uh, they're out sick. And this is the time of year when that kind of thing happens. So running down your scoring for Marietta, uh, Isaac Knighton leads the way with 16 points. Zayden Wittenkin with nine. Alex Kendall with six. Elijah Lyris Kelly with five. Owen Riley with two. Trey Hawkins with two. Seth Britton with one. For Belfry, Junior Bass pacing the uh, Golden Eagles with 11 points. Derek Liston, nine, all in the second quarter. Chase Mays with six and Blake Church with four. But they are doing everything they can to scrape and claw and stay in this game, Mike. And, and, and they're doing that with the excitement of the fact <laughs> that Marietta right now is 18 of 27 shooting. That is 66%, my friends, 66%. And they're two of seven from three-point range, but that is some pretty good shooting there, Tex. But, <laughs> I mean, Belfry had it as close. They had it as close as five, right? And then, I yeah. mean, that little late run put it back over to 11. But, I mean, with Mar Marietta shooting the way they're shooting, this could be a, a – I mean, and with the this, this defensive substitutions being the way that they are for Belfry, this could have been way out of hand. They are just – I think that was a good word that you said, scrappy. They're staying with them. They're shooting the basketball well. Um, and they're facing they're, a very tough defense. Yeah, I was going to no say, doubt. Marietta pressed all but the last two minutes or so of that, uh, of that second quarter. Um, and Belfry has handled it pretty well, but it's been – the handful of extra possessions that the Golden Eagles are given the Tigers that's led to this 11-point uh, lead. That has definitely been probably the advantage. I mean, yes, Marietta shooting well, but yeah, that situation with uh, getting some extra uh, possessions along the way, and again, the de it's not been just careless basketball either. It's been really, really stout defense from Marietta, cutting off passing lanes, active hands. Very seldom have we, we have that unforced error that we've been talking about. So it's been it's been a really good defensive uh, performance by Marietta, and again they're just staying right now. Belfry is just staying as close as they can right now, which is good. Yeah, I, I think if it's you know if it's still you know if it's under 15 in the fourth quarter, you, you consider it a win because it's <laughs> it's not only are they undermanned that they're they're underside. You, you know. Uh, Marietta's rolling out guys that are 6'8", 6'5", 6'4", and... And, and, and athletic, uh, too, not and, just big. And athletic, yeah, not, not just big loads not in the just lane. Big. These guys yeah. are moving. Yeah, yeah. And, and Belfry just does not have that. It's, it's, it's one of those things of there's, there's You can't teach height. It's just some guys are tall, and there's nothing you can do about it. Right. We've seen three attempted dunks. One worked. <laughs> the other two were missed uh, for Marietta, but... Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised Alex Kendall only with six points that he hasn't been more aggressive offensively uh, because he is, I think, the biggest kid on the floor out there. He's been a, actually, there's been a couple situations he's been the facilitator. He gets, you know, he gets a lot of attention because of his size. So sometimes that defense will collapse around him. So he has been doing a good job 
of, of distributing the basketball to. I bet you he's probably got maybe three or four assists tonight. But yeah, he's a big target out there, but he's also a pretty sweet passer too. He's been getting Knighton into the, uh, uh, I know he's, he's supplied Knighton with a couple of passes. Uh, and allowed him to score him part of his 16 points, too. So they complement each other pretty well. Very much so. It'll be Marietta Ball to start the second half with an 11-point lead. Uh, Chase Mays for Belpre has three fouls. For Marietta, Isaac Knighton has two. Elijah Lyris Kelly has two. And those are the only real, if you want to say, things to be concerned with foul-wise. Well, they were really politicking the guy who won the 50-50 to see if he'd give it back. <laughs> he was like, no, <laughs> I think I'm going to take it. <laughs> they were really politicking. <laughs> I don't blame him either. Seth Britton to inbound. Money's kind of tight. To Elijah Lyris <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> They'll dump it underneath to Kendall. And an offensive foul. Away from the basketball, they're going to get uh, Knighton on a screen on Bass, knocking Bass down. That'll be Knighton's third. Team foul one. Tabler to inbound for Belpre to Church. Church will bring it up. They'll pick him up about three-quarter court. And Liston into the front court. Here's Church. Just turns around and fires a three. Back of the iron, no good. Elijah Lyris Kelly with the rebound. Church usually a pretty good shooter from the perimeter. Whittakin off the mark, but swooping in is Seth Britton for the rebound and keeps the Tiger possession alive. Whittakin is going to collect a foul there as I believe he went into Tabler. You are correct, sir. They put up the 13. His second team's first. Lyris Kelly along the baseline. Into Kendall. Kendall in the corner. Back out top to Britton. Cross court to Whittakind. Back to Britton for three. Off the mark. Knighton knocked it out of bounds. Goes with Belpre. Knighton had him all pretty well uh, boxed out. Just, uh, and that's, I think the ball played him when it caromed off of the rim. Longest possession I think we've seen from Marietta tonight. Oh, yeah. They actually were very patient with the basketball. Liston into the front court, cross court to Church. Into the corner to Mays. Back out to Church. A cutting Tabler. Knocks his man down, ball off the backboard, no good. Knighton will collect the rebound. Again, a whistle either way would have been expected, but we didn't get anything. They have let them play more often than not this evening. Britton to Kendall on the baseline. Back out top to Lyris Kelly. He'll drive in. And now we'll get a whistle on the floor. Interesting. 13. That'll be Tabler. That'll be his third now. Third on him. Lyris Kelly oh. lobs it into Knighton. Knighton missed the layup. Rebound Liston. They were looking for the oop on that one. They just didn't time it Had well. Had the alley, sans oop. <laughs> <laughs> Here's list. And that's what arguably the most important part. <laughs> that's the, the important part of that. <laughs> Ball knocked out of bounds by Britton. Stays with Belfry right in front of the Belfry bench. List and triggers it into Tabler. Gets it back. Checked by Britton. Almost lost the handle, picked up his dribble. Here's Church curling around. Trying to get him loose. Whittakin in his face. Tabler put a little extra bit on that, that screen right there. Oh, Church rattles in and out. Kendall collects. Goes the other way. Oh, that's got to be a charge. And a charge. That'll be Alex Kendall's first foul. It was just it was he was just way too out of control. <laughs> Way too out of control, and then he also dropped the shoulder before he actually even put the hand up to make the shot. Team foul number two. We are two and a half minutes into this half. Nobody scored yet. <laughs> oh, that's the part we forgot oh, about. Oh, <laughs> in the bucket, the hoop thing. I gotcha. 
active hands, and Lyris Kelly's going to get called for a reach. That'll be his third foul. Two Tigers now with three, three fouls and three team fouls. Two starters with three fouls. With more than five minutes left in the quarter. Church across the timeline. To Liston. Hands it to Mays. Back to Liston. And they've got Kendall out guarding the perimeter. <laughs> and another whistle along the baseline. Seth Britton will get his second foul, team foul four. Wow. And it looked like the official said, I told you twice already. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to let you play. Church into Liston for three. Oh. In and out, literally almost that halfway was, down the cylinder. That was smooth. It just did not connect. Whittakin quickly from the wing the other way. He's off the mark. Rebound underneath by Knighton. Jump ball called. Belfry Arrow. Knighton went up for it and got tied up under the basket. Just a, a late get your hand in there and just see if hopefully the, the, the official will recognize it. Britton out for Marietta Jones in. Sorry, Mike, go ahead. No, I was just saying, and just hope you got the possession arrow. <laughs> <coughs> Tabler to Church into the front court. Bass is first time with the basketball. He'll go in against Kendall. Got a wow. shot off, no whistle. Got the put back. This time we'll get a whistle. Black 21, that'll be Alex Kendall's second foul, team foul five. And it'll put Junior Bass on the line to shoot two. Junior sure. with 11 points in the first half. One of three from the charity stripe. There's a lot of physicality going on down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of dude to be <laughs> under there battling around. Bass misses the second. Kendall with the rebound. He'll push it up the floor. Drops it off for Jones. They're working it around the top. Lyris Kelly will go baseline. Off glass and good. Seven points for Elijah Lyris Kelly. Puts the lead back to 12. And for all the defensive efforts we've seen tonight, that was probably the easiest taking of the baseline of the evening. And the Tiger Press creates a turnover and a charge called on Isaac Knighton that's four again it has everything to do with control he's there I mean Kendall did that on the play before it's he's out of control going in they're gonna they're gonna take that into account and they have said that now twice and Knighton will come out Owen Riley will check in for the Tigers all right so you got half of the Twin Towers out right now they got to make some hay and Right now, it's been a rough <laughs> and offensive the, possession. Yeah, the defensive intensity is picked up. Here's Mays for three out of the corner. That's off the mark. Liston somehow gets in there and gets the rebound, but has it stolen away. Jones, hounded by Liston in the backcourt, but the Tigers will advance the ball. Jones, top of the key, three, straight on and drills it. First bucket of the game for Brayden Jones is a three-pointer here in the third to make the lead 15. Liston picks up his dribble. Out to Church, tries to answer, and he does! Blake Church has seven points. I think Church is what you would call a streaky shooter. He just gotta keep shooting to get and see if he can get those heat checks in. Kendall gets the rebound, will goes back up with it, can't get it, and no whistle, rebound Liston. Tigers will back off with three minutes to go in the quarter. The bucket by Church, the first points of the second half for Belfry. Here's Liston trying to go in against Whittakin. He'll switch it up, now he's got Jones. Leans into Jones, can't get the layup to go. Loose basketball, stays with Belfry. <laughs> They're trying, I mean, the, the defense is so stout on both sides right now. I mean, they're having to use that extra physicality to, to de just simply make shots. Liston put shoulder in to create as much separation he could before he got the shot to go off. And you're seeing it on both sides of the floor right now. The defense is really just, 
It's it's messing with the process for both teams right now. I thought he called a 30. I think he's going to go full timeout here. Is Coach Leisure for Belpre calling a timeout at 2:38 of the third quarter, 46-34. For as hard and as close as Belfry is playing this, they just can't seem to make up any ground here, uh, Mike. Yes, it's uh, they're just uh, it's it's got to be frustrating. But I mean, right now, I think they're just getting a tremendous effort from the guys right now. But you're right; they'll close the gap, and then you'll look at the scoreboard. Oh, it's back out to 11. You know, what I mean, <laughs> it, it, it really is. Well, it's whenever for every defensive stop they get, they're missing the bucket on the other end. And for every bucket they're getting, they're allowing one on the other end. And it's just you're you're treading water. You gotta you can't get both both pieces to fit together right now. And uh, but they're playing their guts out. Both G teams give them credit for that. Both teams have have, have we I can certainly confirm that both teams have got a bit of a cold streak right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of eight shooting in the quarter for Belfry and two of nine shooting for Each. Marietta. Belfry ball out of the timeout. Liston will inbound right in front of the scorer's table. Interesting. We got a lot of people looking the, at each other like, what's going uh, on the, here? The, uh, the coaches and players from Marietta discussing something with the scorer's table. And the official at the scorer's table. They're saying Lyris, who has four fouls? They're saying player number one has four fouls. That's either Chase Mays or Elijah Lyris Kelly. If I have both of them with three. I have both of them with three as well. Who's got the basketball? Must be Lyris Kelly because he's not on the floor at the, at the moment. Belfry gets it inbound with two and a half to go here in the third quarter. He's down 12, but have played it much closer than that. Bass out top against Kendall. Now to Church on the wing. Kendall will check him. Whittakind also into the game. Here's Bass pull up on the baseline off the back of the rim, and Kendall collects it. Moving well with the basketball, and the Tigers will go around the circle into the corner. Floater underneath. Kendall gets the putback. Eight points for senior Alex Kendall. Yeah, he, he's probably going to start going into with Mr. Windex mode right now. He's going to be cleaning up on the, on the glass. Tigers create a turnover and miss the layup. Owen Riley from point blank cannot get it to go. Church going to weave his way through black jerseys into the front court. Round the back to Bass, and he can't handle it. Out of bounds goes with Marietta. It's all at work to <laughs> <laughs> lose it on the baseline. A lot of energy expended there, too, yeah. Again, both of these teams are playing their guts out. They're playing yeah, their, this yeah, this is amazing. Britton thought about the shot, instead goes to Riley, who goes baseline and lost the handle on it. He's missed two consecutive shots and now a turnover. Oh Liston going to be tied up, trapped out top, somehow gets away with the basketball, gets it over to Bass, <laughs> missed and no call. Coach Laser wonders where that is. He's not the only one. Here's the other way, and Riley missed another layup. Out to Whittakin. He blows his way through and finds an open Jones who missed it. Kendall collects it, and he's going to be fouled by Bass, I believe, and he'll go to the line. What an exchange. That is a first foul on Junior Bass. Really? Yep. And that will put Alex Kendall on the line for the first time tonight. Eight points for the big senior, again playing to the University of Findlay. Uh, had a, you have the schedule sheet, had, hit his career high 33 points uh, earlier this season. Against Bethel. I don't even know what that is. Tip City, Ohio, wherever that is. Kendall hits them both. He's going to be an oiler, huh? Yeah, that's a what I hear. A Oiler. 
I saw them play a few times back in the, when they were still in the same conference as Ohio Valley University. Another orange team. Mays has his pass picked by Whittakin. Wow. Lead out to 16 for Marietta. Whittakin charges in against Church, knocks him to the ground, but has his pass picked off by Mays. And we'll go back the other way with 30 seconds left. Liston, stutter steps, drops to Bass. Bass has it knocked away. Whittakin the other way. Up and under and lays it in. Well, he is a creative basketball player. He's super athletic, that Whittakin. First basket of the second half for him. Bass quickly the other way, lays it up and in and gets that two back. Six, five, four, three, two. Jones didn't see the clock and into the corner. Three on the way, off the mark. And that's how the third ends. Chaos, I tell you. 52-36, <laughs> we go to the fourth next here on CAS 45. Reimagine every off-road adventure in the Yamaha Wolverine RMAX family of side-by-side -side vehicles available now at Lemon and Barrett's Power Sports. Extreme terrain meets its match with the maximum off-road capability, comfort, and confidence in the RMAX 2 and RMAX 4 1000 family. Get yours financed today for as low as 5.99% for 36 months for qualified buyers. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Find your Yamaha RMAX at Lemon and Barrett's Power Sports, 178 Pettyville Road, Mineral Wells, or at yamahamotorsports.com. Are you going through a difficult divorce or separation and struggling to come to an agreement on custody arrangements for your children? Raber Law Offices is here to help. Justin Raber is an experienced and compassionate attorney who understands the sensitive nature of custody battles and will work tirelessly to protect your rights as a parent and ensure the best interests of your children are met. Don't let custody issues cause more stress and anxiety. Contact us today to schedule a consultation. Call 304-893-9145. 52-36 as we go to the fourth quarter. Brian Guthrie, Mike Cameron here. With the visiting Marietta Tigers at 9-1, leading the Belper Golden Eagles at 7-4. And, and don't let the 16-point score tries the alley-oop to uh, Knighton, and it didn't go for the Tigers. Don't let the score throw you. This one has been nip and tuck. These two, yeah, they have been battling. Yeah, it's... Uh, Marietta has taken, you know, taken advantage of a couple more offensive spurts, if you will. But yeah, the uh, Belfry has played a great basketball in undermanned, by the way. Church to Liston for three. All glass rebound by Tabler gets it back out to Bass. He lost the handle on it. Loose basketball will be collected by the Tigers. Lyris Kelly, his pass will be collected by Mays and pushed the other way. Church to a trailing Tabler, and now they'll set up the half court. Underneath the Bass, he tries to bully his way in, and a foul on the floor. Is that, is that Knighton? Four, no. It's his second. Yeah, Knighton in there playing with four fouls. He was in the area, so that was definitely uh, an, an extreme possibility. Church to Tabler, quick shot off glass, not there. Knighton. Timed his jump, couldn't collect it. Lyris Kelly pushes the other way for the Tigers. And Marietta is going to slow this game down. I would think they would. It, it doesn't play to their advantage to keep going full blast. Here's Kendall underneath, and he'll reverse it in. And Kendall has 12. Still feeding them on the low post. I mean, they're, they're, they're going to keep looking to him. List and fights his way down to the baseline, has his pass picked by Britton. Britton will go in against Tabler and lays it up and in. And that is Britton's first field goal of the game. He has three points now, and the lead has ballooned out to 20 with six minutes to go here in the ball game. Liston for three, back of the iron, rebound Britton. And now Belpre has gone cold. Lob for Kendall underneath. He will go up strong and lay it up and in. 14 for Alex Kendall. Marietta extends the lead. Belfry desperately in need of a basket here. Here's Bass, picks up his dribble, goes up with it, in and out. It's at least three times we've seen the ball halfway down the cylinder for Belfry and didn't go in. 
Here's Knight and lays it up and in. Somebody under there tried to sell a charge, but it wasn't there. Nobody was buying. And a timeout called by Coach Lazier for Belfry. As that one just ballooned out to both, 24. Both teams shooting cold in the third quarter, but now Marietta, four of four. Coach Lazier was <laughs> He's going to try to make a point here. <laughs> An 8-0 run here for Marietta to start the fourth. Gets it out to 60-36. And, you know, in the, all the points except for Britain. Well, Britain was also on a, on a fast break layup, too. So everything's been high percentage. Yes. Yeah. Got to stop them. Got to stop them. They're going to keep going. Yeah. Coach Lazier right down here in front of us. Maybe you can hear him. He says, we got to keep playing. They're going to keep pressing you. You fold up the tent, we're going to lose by 50. <laughs> Belpre capable of a run. We've seen them do it. We have seen them do it. They, and, and, and right now, I mean, we're going to see Marietta press even now. You know, you got you to you gotta beat it. You got to stop it at some point. Tabler, Liston, and Church. Working against the press here, and Liston will bring it into the front court for Bass. Drives in, nice pass underneath to Mays, and Mays will collect the foul. It's going to be Kendall. Braden Jones. Oh, no, okay. Boy, you're way off. Damn. Chase Mays, six points in this game, all in the first half, and he misses the first free throw. They got some good minutes. Um, he got the late call on, on this game, and uh, they got some good minutes in that first half from him. It's the second one. He's got seven points tonight. Trey Hawkins into the game for Marietta. Lyris Kelly goes baseline, fires out a nice pass to Jones. Jones dribble drive and lays it up and in. Brayden Jones has five points all in the second half. It's an embarrassment of riches right now for Marietta with the athleticism they have on this team. They have so many good players. They shoot the ball well, play great defense. They've got low posts. They've Kendall, got perimeter shooting. Kendall knocks it away from Bass. They will go down the other end and a foul on the missed layup. White 21 is Blake Church, his second. Belpre hung with this team for a while, but they ran into a bus saw, especially in the second half. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you can only do what you can do. Is, is again, you're you're down two starters, and and uh, your second guy off the bench just aren't even in uniform tonight. We need another mop. It's mop time. Coach Lager. I get the feeling the Belfry cheerleaders would like them to get that rebound. <laughs> Brayden Jones at the line to shoot two. I don't know what gave me that impression. I know, it was a shot in the dark. That's the first. Junior Bass will set Willis Starcher back into the game for the Golden Eagles. Missed the second one. Rebound by Tabler. Senior Derek Liston brings it up the floor. Over to senior Blake Church. Now back to junior Chase Mays. Liston to Tabler. Working out against Braden Jones for Marietta. Now Church thought about the three, instead kicks it over to Liston. And a reach foul going to be called on Whittakin. That'll be his third. Team foul number three. Kendall will come out. Whittakin will come out. Britton will come in as well as Owen Riley for Marietta. Listing into Tabler. Belper trying to be patient here on offense. Get a good look at a basket as they have only scored 
seven points this half. Off glass and still nothing. Tigers working it around. Again, we went to the half 52 36, or no, that was the end of the quarter. 41 30 is how we went to the half. As laying it in is Trey Hawkins, his first bucket of the second half. He's got four. It's a good basketball team. This this team is built. Uh, Marietta will built will be built for the long run too. They just they have it all. They've got all of the things that you need. Low post presence, perimeter shooting. Now they're going to call defense. a charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a charge. Blake Church will pick up his third foul. He will come out. Junior Bass will come back in. So I mean, it's all second half. We, as as hard as Belfry has played, they haven't been able to score. Twenty four to seven in the second half. Half, that's <laughs> a quarter and a half. Two of 11 in that quarter and they have not made anything from the field in this quarter. Nice jumper from Owen Riley. Pushes the lead out to 30. Mays will try a floater from the baseline, not there. Bass with the putback will be good. Junior Bass has 16. Only five of that here in the second half. Tigers just keep moving it around. They came into this game nine and one for a reason had run through everybody until they got to their uh, their last game that they lost. So they're trying to versus John Glenn. John, yeah, the, the little muskies of John Glenn is that one is missed. It's still loose underneath and somehow the Tigers come out with it. Lyris Kelly, the left hander, won't go. Tabler skies for the rebound and the foul is going to go on Owen Riley. Or no. Nope, Braden Jones. I called that one way off. It can happen. <laughs> Lear, Lear, oh, that's a great shot right there, <laughs> Tabler right now. He is tired. These guys are all gas. <laughs> yeah. Number 11, Logan Grossclose checks in for Marietta with two minutes to go here in this ballgame. A valiant effort by the Golden Eagles. They just don't have the horses. Mm -hmm. not, not tonight. It was definitely a, a little bit shorthanded in that respect, and this is a really good basketball team in Marietta. Yeah. Tabler gets it up and in. That is his first basket of the night, and now he is down on the floor. And a trainer is going to come out to check on him. And calf cramp. Uh, I know how that feels. I can just get out of a chair and get it cramped. So we are no back. athletic ability necessary at all. <laughs> We're back on the air with a uh, another great rivalry game for you tomorrow. We're in the LKC in Williamstown as the Lady Yellow Jackets will play the uh, Crusaderettes from Parkersburg Catholic. That game time has since been changed to seven o'clock. So we'll be on the air at seven o'clock tomorrow. Parkersburg Catholic and Williamstown girls basketball right here on CAS 45. Yeah, Parkersburg, A, it's a, it's a double thing, really, because Parkersburg Catholic does not have a JV team. And <laughs> I think they're also worried about some weather in the area tomorrow, yeah. too. Parkersburg Catholic coming off their first loss of the season to St. Mary's. Williamstown had a, a, a great run, uh, a couple of games down in Logan County, uh, beating Chapmanville and Mingo Central. So the Lady Jackets are rolling right now, so ought to be a good one. This is, yeah. There's a lot of teams right now that are they're not looking forward to their matchup with Williamstown right now. <laughs> and Coach Boys Sorrow, or can, girls. <laughs> yeah, and, and congratulations to Coach Sorrow, too. Breaking the record. Tigers moving it around, and we'll throw it away. Throw it, throw it to Minute nobody. and a half to go. 67-41. The Tigers will move to 10-1 and one on this 23-24 season. Golden Eagles will fall to seven and five. Here's Bass, spin move in the lane, and he will roll that one home. 18 points for Junior Bass has been a bright spot 
Derek Liston has been held scoreless outside of the second quarter. Off glass and good for Owen Riley. He has six points. Uh. Liston has it poked away by Lucas Miller, who has checked into the game. He will miss the layup. Bass will come back the other way for Belpre. Defense is not shutting down. Doesn't matter what level of team is in there right now for Marietta. This is a good defensive squad. Yeah. Braden Plower, who we saw a lot in the JV game, is now in the game for Marietta. And Liston hits a three off the Schneid. Nine in the second quarter. That's his first points in the second half. He's got 12. Marietta's going to have the sweep tonight. Won the JV game 50 to 12. And now going to take the varsity matchup here comfortably. As the Tigers are going to dribble this one out and they will pick up the win or they'll get the easy bucket underneath by Plower and set your score at 71-46, your final. Again, Marietta will move to 10-1. and one. Belpre falls to 7-5. Back in action, Marietta will be at Warren coming up on the 12th. Also on the 12th, Belpre will be on the road against Waterford. We're back on the air tomorrow night. Parkersburg Catholic and Williamstown girls basketball right here on CAS 45. We hope you'll join us for that one. Mike, any final thoughts for this one? Uh, again, just hats off. Knowing Going into this game, they knew well, about 25 minutes into this game, they knew they were going to be without some of their big guys tonight, so Belfry played well. I am just uber impressed with this this Marietta basketball team. I just, They're very, very they, good. They've got all the tools, low post presence. They can shoot from the perimeter and shut down defense. This is going to be a, a, a team that will go deep into the season. Would you say they have the tools and, and the talent? <laughs> it's military. <laughs> 71-46, <laughs> your final score. For Mike Cameron, I'm Brian Guthrie and the whole CAS 45 crew. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.